Hey guys, it's King Rebel here coming to you guys with another video. And the video I want to talk to you guys today about is about something more serious. And it has to do with mental health. And that will be my topic for today. And if you guys know anything about my story, you know that psych has been my major, my love. I like psych. Disclaimer, I'm not diagnosing anybody I'm going to be talking about. Um, It's not going to do anything for me to diagnose them. I'm just an observer looking out from the outside in like everybody else that's not inside in everybody's business, in their house, in the studio and everything. And because of what's been going on lately with Krishan and Nicki Minaj, it had me thinking. And it's like, and if you watch my previous video, I gave an overview of what mental illness is. So I've noticed that a lot of people in the black community, not all, don't like to discuss mental illness. There's a lot of mental illness going around. It can be genetics. It can be you being with... And when I say that, I'm talking about you meet this guy, you fall in love, you guys, you might not know his back history, what his family has, his grandmother, his aunt. You don't know. They might have mental illness in the family, pass on to your child, skip a generation. It could be drug-induced. You know, they say marijuana, marijuana is the is the gate gateway to major drugs a lot of people i've come across they started with maria marijuana and went on to heavier drugs um some people they're just born like that i've worked in a prison um if you know you know i'm in california i've worked in the state prison um i work with psychiatrists and psychologists so i'm saying all that to say that it goes deeper than what you see. Now, when you see Krishan going in and out and going on and on and doing stuff and on live and just talking, 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 some might say, like I put on my video, she's on hinge. But there's something might be chemically unbalanced with her, which is true, because nobody that's happy is doing none of that. If you're happy in your relationship, you're not doing none of that. If you're happy in love, you're not doing none of that. If people are talking mess about you online, you're not going to go online to argue with them. You're not doing none of that. You're happy. And I even, and I've praised her sister Tessa in previous posts. And then I went on her Instagram and she was saying that why are people hating on her sister? They need to worry about their fake hair and their fake bodies and I'm sitting here like mm, ma'am your other sister just had a BBL done y'all all y'all wear weaves and wigs cut it out that doesn't make any sense but before you dive into the problem they deflect and it's like oh like y'all haven't done nothing stupid Yes, but people's stupidity is not in the eyes for millions of people to watch. Yes, your sister's out here as a role model. Nobody said she was supposed to be. She never said she wanted to be. It just comes with the job that because she's in the spotlight. So we're not going to sit here and make it seem like little girls are not looking up to her. She has a daughter of her own. They have nieces and nephews. Are they really saying this just for the public or behind closed door kitchen talk? They'll be like, mm, my sister looking dumb out here in these streets. This bitch looking special crazy. But don't get on the internet and condone the bullshit. That's why she keeps going. And that's what I'm talking about, accountability. And I'm not going to go only get on Christian. I'm going to talk about Nicki Minaj. And I know they have big fan bases and y'all don't like to hear about your face. But why... When Ma what if, what about it that about Megan that bothers Nikki so much? Why when she dropped the Megan Law, the rants went on and on and on and the liking tweets and the retweets and the liking the retweets. Why did it went on for hours? Like people have said stuff about her that she's again another person that's playing with the but it's allegedly because nobody has confirmed or people that have said they know hasn't put it out. But at the same time, wasn't that the same thing with Drake and Meek Mills when Drake said trigger finger turn into Twitter fingers? She's ranting and she your her fans are so oh my god, the world has gone to hell in in a handbasket. Ish Megan says she's saying things and none of you bitches gonna check her, nobody's gonna respond. And you respond. She also said in the song, she's going to lay to rest. She's not going to respond no more. She didn't say, I'm going to go back and forth with you. 
what did somebody came in my comments and said, Oh, do your research. Megan have been sub subbing. Nobody's subbing because she's not subbing. Stop acting like Nikki's innocent. She's in her forties. She's not a child. Megan is in her twenties. Stop cutting it. Stop making it seem like Nikki is not old enough to be Nick Megan's aunt or whatever. So she's older. She has more she has more maturity, you would think, but maturity doesn't come with age. I've learned that the hard way. You're sitting there arguing with this girl because this girl responded back to you keep taunting her and using your barbs, your fan base. And her fan base goes out and do her dirty work, which is ugly. That's nasty work. But when you have money, and again, you will hear me say this, if you were an ancient person without money, when you have money, you will be an ancient person. Y'all want to excuse everything Nikki has done. Nikki has done a lot of stuff behind the scenes. We've heard it, and I believe it. Believe what you want. That's what I believe. She's not a nice person as well. Just like I say Krishan is not of God. She's not. She's, Krishan was on live, arguing and cussing out people with Sarah Jakes or the church playing in the back. It's games they play and people are like, oh, she's of God. I saw one of her pages talking about, oh my God, we're going to have to pray for her. Y'all wasn't praying for her. Y'all was entertained by the train wreck. Y'all was so, if something happened to this girl, you're going to get all the oh, pray, pray, and the butterfly and the praying hands because nobody's hauling her and coming in to say, hey, you need to stop or hey, what's going on? What can we do? She wasn't loved right as a child, and she's not being loved right as an adult. That's not an excuse. That is not an excuse. All she has to do is the work, because prayer without work is dead. Again, hear me. Prayer without work is dead. Nicki Minaj has all the money in the world, and she's not happy either. Krishan is so rich, she could buy, make all her followers rich. She's not happy either. She's not happy either. Again, Krishan is the now six nine. She's six nine of now the female version. She's big on clout. Nicki Minaj is over there arguing with this girl. But the sad part about it is, and some of the people and some of her barbs are seeing that she ain't shit. They're coming in and saying, "Okay, this we didn't sign up for this." She t- she made a line. Megan was not wrong in her line. Nicki Minaj, if you follow her history, she was big on supporting her brother. She's not, she even wrote a judge for her brother. She even sat there and said that the the child's mother, the wife's mother, the wife's the her brother's wife, said if they if she paid her so much, she will drop the case. I mean, Nick, the, even when she was writing and talking about, oh, you guys are bringing us up about my husband that happened thirty years ago when he was fifteen. The bitch lies. He was not fifteen. He was not 15. Kenny was not 15. And like I said previously, if you're in a session with somebody and you're naked and they say no, no is no. It's everything after that is not, is great. It's not, it's the R word. It's not acceptable. She's making excuses for what he did, but she's not happy because if she was happy, why pick it up? And then you're talking about the girl's mom when her father is also deceased. She's talking about how the girl sleep around when she she might not be known for they dragged her. Um Gucci man dragged her. Whether it's true or not, they dragged her. And the other thing that's lost me is why are you arguing about a beat that somebody gave you six years ago that you didn't use? Because it's like, and I want you guys to put yourself, and when I talk about stuff, take your feelings out of it. A lot of you don't know how to this um separate the two. Take your feelings from what you like out of it. You like her? Yeah, I don't know why. It's not like she's paying any bills for y'all, but go ahead, do your big one. If you have a friend and your friend did something for me and six years later, I want to take what they did for me to use against you. If that's your real friend, why would they allow that to slide? And she's the big Nikki Malewinski. She could have used any beat or she could have asked any... um, any um producer to make a beat for the song she's talking about oh they um she, juju if that's her friend i'm not gonna let you use something against my friend if i asked you to use it six years ago but i think what she was trying to do was she was trying to be like oh if i use your own friend beat to diss you you don't have any friends see she's thinking like she's smarter than the average bear and i think a lot of people have seen the for who she is you rant 
for three days and tweeted for three days. You put out a song that you tweeted the bars and then Charlamagne was right. That was not it. That was not it. And she's been losing credibility for a while. She married um Kenny. That's her choice. That's her business. It's just like Krishan. She won't she so long at blue face, she's gonna ride it out and take the embarrassment. But there's things that comes with that. Because the truth of the fact of the matter is, that's not allegedly on her husband. He has a case that he cannot move nowhere without reporting about that. And she's over there excusing it when she that's been a part of her family history. That goes on in her history, whether you guys want to say no or not. The husband and the brother. Her husband and her brother. So that speaks a lot about her as a person. Now support your family. That's your thing. Then you're talking about Tori and Kelsey. If Kelsey didn't tell you, Megan lied about Tori, you just gossiping. you gossiping. It makes no sense. Everything she talked about in the day song, we all knew. We knew Megan didn't slip with the... All these people allegedly, the baby, Tori, whoever, Juju on the beat, all of this we knew allegedly. You turn around and call the girl broke, then said, oh, she had to pay 250 to her friend for something, but she's broke. It's like, what are you mad? Because she really needs to say what she's mad for. She's mad because Carly collab with Megan. Is that why she's mad? Or Meg collab with Cardi? Because somebody came in my comment and said, oh, Cardi doesn't like when people collab with Nikki either. Girl, I don't know and I don't care. They're all too rich for this bullshit. At the end of the day, when you look at who God blessed people with and then when they turn around, they talk about God. Nikki was over there talking about, oh, if you support her, God, God, um, may God strike you down. Like, what is you saying? But you support a whole pedia. But you want God to strike people down for supporting Megan when you support two of them? Like this girl, like you guys sit there and you listen to her and it doesn't make sense. Because a lot of y'all just want to be a part of something that don't make sense. Like if it don't make sense, why? Like call it for what it is, a thing, a thing. She's sitting there talking about Megan wanted her to abort, but she was not pregnant. And I put it in my last video. She was not pregnant. She said I was not pregnant yet. You are older than her. How can she told you to have an abortion if you didn't want one? Because I'm the type of motherfucker. I'll tell you, you can't lead me to hell. I know how to find my way. So you're doing all this exposing to make her out a bad person, but you still hang with her. You still do a feature for her. But now Mad Day come and everybody exposing everybody on Mad Day. It's the same thing. When Blueface and Krishan get into Mad Day, she will expose all the stuff he was saying. And it's her fault. And you guys want to blame him. It's her fault. She has common sense. If she's mentally deranged, if she's mentally disabled, if she's mentally have mental disorder, she needs to go get it treated. Sitting on live every day, dragging it and dragging it and dragging Jaden and talking about this love that they have that will not last. And if it lasts, it's just going to be for what? What did she say about Jaden? Just to get some money. That's all it will last for. Nikki Minaj, if she was happy with her husband, she wouldn't be doing this. She would have dropped her this and moved on. You have four money gear. This bitch said she had four lined up. What are you making this truck for people for? That's the reason why Drake and Meek were not friends. Because she over there doing stupid shit. But she's happy. And she's better than and She's a queen. She's okay for her time. She's okay for her time. Not a fan of sex or red. Not a fan of a lot of them. So don't talk about, oh, these new people don't rap. Don't care. I listen to a lot of Caribbean music. That's my cup of tea. I listen to a little bit of um, hip hop and stuff here and there. I like the old R&B and stuff. I'm not a fan of the new craziness because none of it has substance, not shake your ass. No, you have babies listen to that stuff. And again, a lot of people don't care about what they're pushing out because it's like crap. You guys are pushing that stuff out to the young people. The kids are singing sex and and it's okay. I heard my nephew's son was singing ski and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. My kids, I mean, sure, I taught my kids. My kids are not really just rely on the school system. I taught them as well. That we were not going to have that. I'm not going to raise my kids to be no idiot, no clown. I mean, they'll do clown shit, but we're not going to do it to that extreme. Nikki is a multi-millionaire arguing and liking tweets and her fans over there doxing and harassing people. But she's going to, like I said, then you have Akbar, her number one fan. 
over there acting like the song she made was Bigfoot. Okay, are you guys really thinking that's a diss? Like Megan is the only female with a size 10, I heard, because I don't know. She's the only female walking around with a size 10. She's the only female on this earth. Like, that's supposed to be a big diss. If she lied to party, she lied to party. That's her business. She's going to sit on, oh, she died on her dead mom. Like, okay, that's between her and God. Or that's between her and herself. Because she, if she lied on her mom, she shouldn't have. But Megan, I mean, some of the stuff Megan did, like I put in my video, Megan was not always correct too. She was dealing again with, as he said, was a depression. Another another mental health issue. Mental health is alive. It's real. It's raking through people's lives and people are covering up. Well, it's postpartum. Oh, it's this guy. He's using her. Oh, it's him telling her it's this. Oh, people are picking on her. No, people are walking around here with money fully fucking undiagnosed and unmedicated because money talks. Then now when the true shells start showing, because you could only cover bullshit for so long. Now there's excuses. There's fans running amok talking about, no, she won. No, she did her thing. She doesn't need to put on no more this. When her and Remy Ma went toe to toe, and y'all going to disagree and talk about, oh, Remy didn't, Remy, first of all, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. She took, she took a hit to her foundation when Remy Ma did cheat her. She also, there was, there was word on the curb that she also told Nas to not let the song go anyway. I don't know. I don't know if that, then there's words that Nas didn't own Cheater, so he didn't stop it. But somebody had made the pull that Remy didn't get, um, Eater was pulled. So either she made a call, but she t took a hit from then. She didn't go Twitter, Twitter, back and forth with Remy Ma. She came up with her little, she came up with... You know when somebody's having an argument with you and they can't argue with you and they'll be like, oh, because Sandra said also that you did this. And remember Alexis when she did this and Alexis was there when she made the song against Remy. She went and got Drake. She went and got um, Lil Wayne. She, then she was talking about what Ra Ali told her and all this stuff. It's like Nikki can't. She digs up dirt on people to argue when people just use her real life facts on her. They use her real life facts on her. And yes, Mary might have put a little few stuff in there because it's um, battle rap for her. Maybe she had digged up some stuff, put some stuff that she heard in there. But for the most part, nobody was lying on her. It was like they were calling out her truth. And then you have people saying, oh, you can't talk about what her brother, her husband did because that's all people can say about her. No. They've been alleging this lady has been on that stuff for a while. They've been alleging she's been on that stuff for a while. They're alleging that Nick, they've been alleging that Nicki Minaj is mean for a while. They're talking about she's this people because she want people to kiss her butt for a while. You guys keep saying, "Oh, the industry, the industry." You see how she acts on the on the on the phone. Do you realize she probably talks to those people like that? That's why people stop bucking with her. Because that's who she is. So you literally don't think she probably talk to people cocky and act like her husband because that's her shooter. Don't They don't be talking to people crazy because they're in the streets. And that's why people don't fuck with her. Do you realize that? But yet you guys make excuses. And I'm saying when you were an ancient person broke, when you have money, you become an ancient person with money. But you guys don't want to hold people accountable because they're your phase. And y'all believe in this. Oh, you broke, you broke, and you jealous of me. Everybody's not jealous of somebody that's broke. Somebody did that to me in my comment talking about you're jealous of Krishan because she's 23. And she's, and she's what? She's 23 and she has money and she has clout. By the time I was 23, I had, I think I was on my first or second home what are you talking about? You guys just talk about people because we get on this internet and view our opinion. You think everybody that comes on this internet is broke. Motherfuckers been having money before they start seeing money. Motherfuckers was doing good before they start seeing good. Nicki Minaj been in the game, but she didn't have money all the time too. But she's, I don't know if she calls them broke. Because I don't follow her because the rant and when she go into the Patois and when she go into the Caribbean lingo, I know it's part of her descendant, her heritage. But when she gets into that foolishness, it's so, so stupid like she's trying to sound hard. Like really, when I talk mine, my kids are used to it because that's what I grew up with. So, 
But she just sounds stupid. Like, literally, the only person that I've seen that has so deep, deep down deep in their culture is Rihanna. She's in for her bar. She's big with her Barbados. Nikki don't rip Trinidad like that. She, she, and she doesn't even talk their lingo. She's usually talking Jamaican patwa. She doesn't even talk their thing. When she with the blood cloth and me pussy this, she talks more Jamaican than she does freaking from Trinidad. But because people are not culturally aware and they just want to big her up for foolishness. Y'all don't like Cardi. Y'all don't like Meg. But you, what, what happened if she would have went up? And I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a stan. I'm not a fan. I don't ride, hate train, boat train. I just deal with people for what they are. Like, like I literally work with people for a living. So if you're an in-shit person, it don't matter if you're a doctor, a uh, surgeon, whatever, you still an in-shit person. And people, just because they have money doesn't take away the fact that they're in-shit per- people. You people will sit there and ride for people that you don't know, literally, don't know, like literally, and don't make the sense out of it and be like, oh, like I'm telling you, I ha- literally have people that try to shame me, like you know what I got or what I don't have. You can't shame me because I have common sense. You can't shame me because I'm not going to be caught up in some bullshit behind foolishness. You, this girl rant and rant about Kelsey, about Bigfoot about Tory about all this stuff for what? And the sad part, I'm not even a fan of Megan. I'm not a fan of Megan because all I used to think about when I saw Megan was she was a social climber. She was friends with everyone. And again, I said a person that's a friend with everyone is a friend to no one. So I was never a friend of Megan. I was never a fan of she had cute music, but that's it. That's all. Like I could like if something is cute, I'll call it cute and move on. I'm not sitting there, and and the Bible said praise not the God but me. But you people just sit there and praise these people like you know them in and out. Akbar over there doing back back flips for Nicki Minaj one than she did for her child. She's the other one playing in God's face like Krishan does. She was over there praying, oh God, I I'm gonna stop this beef. I'm gonna stop all this foolishness. But turn right around and then did it again. That's why they can't get ahead because they play with God and they think it's a game. Then somebody want to say, oh, well, if they play God, it's what? Like, y'all really think that's why these people are not suffering and not getting ahead because they keep playing this game? Y'all really think it's cute to be sitting there okay and cosign bullshit because you want to be considered or be like, oh, well, I got a recognition. Oh, I got a cosign. Don't worry about the cosign from my, from these people on earth. One, 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 one of my, she was a... She was, what was she? She was medical records. And she used to say this thing that sticks with me. She said, man reward, but God award. And y'all be looking for man rewards and not God award. And it's strange that people be sitting there playing in the Lord's face and calling his name in vain. And like I said, this is about mental health. A lot of your favor walking around here unhinged, unmedicated, undiagnosed. Look at Anthony Brown. Look at Anthony Brown. Look at Britney Spears. Those are just a few. Like, there's things going on that's not normal. But you guys will sit there and okay just to be cute, funny, and be a part of something, but not the right thing. None of this is going to end well for her legacy. And I don't feel bad for her because, again, like I stated, she treated Lil' Kim terribly. And people keep forgetting that what goes around comes around. She did little Kim dirty. Say what you want about Kim. You can say she has. Y'all be making jokes. She, you don't recognize this face, that face. Whatever you want to say. Um, Nicki Minaj will walk around like she's untouchable. Like Kishan is walking around like she's untouchable. The sad part, one of them has more money and has solidified their self in history. The other one is just solidified for madness. Trauma, drama, craziness. And now that Nikki is older, she's showing her younger son. She's showing that age. Here I go. She's showing that age does not matter. The 23-year-old Nikki that wasn't cured became the 40-something Nikki 
that's acting the same way that the 23-year-old Nick, um, Krishan is acting. But y'all don't want to have that conversation. When you don't deal with your shit in your 20s and 30s, it carries on into your 40s and 50s. That's what Nicki Minaj is doing now. And I compare it to because y'all keep acting like age make a difference. No, the fuck it doesn't. It just get worse because y'all keep pacifying it and excusing it. Besides from the fact that they were tearing her up in the comments, there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, but she's young, she's young. I would have loved to see that girl win. I would have loved to see her family come up and say, you know what? Speak up, pu- speak up publicly and be like, you know what? That's our sister. We love her. And we hope she figure it out. Whatever. You don't have to bash her. But also call out bullshit. I don't know if PD's around her anymore because I don't know if he want to mess up his D1 if he has that going on. Because I've seen the conversation about that too. Because he can't be around a lot of stuff if he's trying to get into um, his D1 or if he's trying to get into a D1 school or whatever it is. Because I'm not too savvy on that part of that life. Medically, we could talk. And aside from that, I can't. I don't know nothing about that. I'm not even a sports girl. But I just referenced the two because what is the difference between a 23 year old? Unhinged Krishan in a 40 something year old unhinged Nicki Minaj. But y'all don't want to have that conversation. Y'all gonna make excuses. Y'all gonna y'all drag Safari. Nikki was with Safari for years. Nikki did not help Safari. She turned around, let me me talk in her ears. She got with me, me for him to treat her like crap. She got with Nas, it didn't work out. She went with Quavo. He exposed her in a song. She went with this guy. And it's not even the man, it's her. Because if I was a multimillionaire, you think I would have looked at a Kent Penny? You think I would have looked at him for him to drag me in the mud just because, because what? Because I want to associate myself with a gang because Cardi B was in a gang? Because that's, that's all that was, competition for no reason. Again, I will leave you with this. A untreated, a unmedicated, a unhealthy Christian Rock will turn out to be a 47, 40 something years, not 47. 40 something year olds untreated Nicki Minaj. Again, an untreated, unhealthy 23 year old Christian Rock will turn out to be a 40 something unhinged, untreated, unhealthy Nicki Minaj. Say what I said. Stay in the comments. Be respectful. See you on the next one. Have a nice day. Bless.